Well, here we are again. <clears throat> Another solo game of Commands and Colours, Napoleonics. This is our seventh one. This is the uh, Battle of Busaco, Rainier's Assault, 27th of September, 1810. We've got Wellington's army up on the ridge here, and as uh, Wellington normally did, put them just behind the ridge line itself. This is the, the falling back towards the lines of Torres Vedras, or however you pronounce it. Uh, Massena's army uh, basically made contact with them uh, under Ney uh, in this particular area and uh, Rainier attacked uh, but was actually driven off and then Ney attacked later and that's going to be the next game that I'm playing of this uh, but for now we're going to be doing the opening scene opening battle itself uh, interesting split force of about 50-50 uh, British and Portuguese most of the Portuguese on this side and against obviously a lot of French over there Again, not a great many uh, cavalry units in this. There's only one British one, and there's only two French ones over there. So it's mostly infantry, uh, as these ones have been. Interestingly, as the games go on, each of these scenarios they get a little bit more complex. This one's got uh, first two, six victory ba uh, banners, and let's just see how uh, Wellington does on this particular uh, this particular time. But the French open. They start, uh, they've got five cards against the British six, because they're commanded by Wellington. Uh, he's a good commander, so he gets six cards. The French have got probe centre, scout the centre, probe the left flank, force march and cavalry charge. Um, that's an interesting one. Uh, I think maybe force march is probably the best one, because you order all infantry units in a section, and they can move up to two hexes in battle if they've got an attached leader, or they can move uh, one hex. Uh, sorry, they can move two hexes if they have an attached leader and battle, or they can move one hex or two hexes without an attached leader. And as there's a lot of infantry here, it might be worthwhile just getting as many of these up as as quick as possible to try to get into the attack. So let's have a look how many we've got in the centre section. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, on this right flank we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually it's equal either side really, isn't it? And both have got a leader. Uh, well, looking at what we've got here as well, cards-wise, for the future, we've got probe, uh, left flank, scout centre and probe, probe centre. So they will be useful to follow up. So I think the centre is going to be the best, best one to do here. So this is probably not going to be a turn of fighting, but it will be a turn of pushing forward so everybody is going to get up two hexes so they can't actually they can't fight but they can get forward as I say and then next turn we can continue that push forward so we just get as many of these up as possible it's quite a good card to play straight away really because with the French being right at the back of the table we might as well getting on this attack straight away and keeping them close together means that they are then going to support one another should the inevitable happen which is of course British rifle fire or British musket fire should I say so that's all them shoved up as I said they're now obviously a hell of a lot closer to the British line so that's the end of the French and the first turn and the Brits, let's have a look. Uh, we've got left, attack left flank, scout left flank, assault left flank, probe centre, cavalry charge, and force march. So, that's the same as the previous one. Don't particularly want anybody really to be moving too much because uh, they're already in pretty good positions. It's be probably better at this point to well, let the French come at us. Probe centre might be okay. Bring forward some of these Portuguese line, I think, and maybe even fire with the artillery. I think that's probably the best at the moment. We'll hang on to the rest. Cavalry charge is probably not going to be a great deal of use because there's only one cavalry unit. But this is probably the best for now. So if I bring forward these Portuguese line, just to strengthen that centre, they're out of range at the moment. But the artillery aren't. So they're firing four, three, two dice into the advancing French light infantry. So that's one kill. 
So first blood to Wellington. Well, let's see what the French, what their new card was, but also we've got the probe sensor, probe the left flank, flank scout the sensor, cavalry charge, and our other one was flank attack, which is not particularly useful given what we were doing, but it might be worthwhile to bring up some of these units ready to support these attacks. There's only two units on the left flank anyway, uh, and they do have a cavalry charge, so it might be worthwhile getting those up close so they can start getting into a position to attack something at some point in the future. So I will. I'll go with left flank, I think, for that reason. And on this side we'll have the light come up here. They're moving too because they're light infantry, but they can't fire if they do that. We've got this light infantry unit. We'll bring these up as well just to support them, just in case anything happens. And we've got the cavalry on this side. One, two, three for the light cavalry. Get them across that stream. As I say, ready to maybe attack up that hill against those guns or something. And these are high heavy cavalry. So we'll bring them in again behind, just as a support in case they take any fire and they are forced to retreat. And that's probably the best thing to do, try to keep things as close to as possible. So that's the French. Still no firing yet. And what can the British do? Uh, cavalry charge, force march, attack left flank, scout left flank, assault left flank, and then flank attacks. <laughs> They're almost getting exactly the same as the French are with their cards. Well, there's not a great deal that I want them to do at the moment. They're, they're kind of almost in the best position they can be. They could always possibly bring a couple of things forward and just put them on the front of the slopes to fire at the French as they come up. So, yeah, I think maybe flank attack might be the best thing at the moment. We can get some artillery firing as well, at least from that. So if we use the flank attack, bring the heavy cavalry out so they're not sat behind that hill and then they're ready to attack. We've got the foot artillery, they will fire down the same target so they're rolling a one again. We'll just check. Three, two, four, three, two, two dice, sorry. Nearly underplayed them there. So that's another kill. So they're pecking away at them at least. We have say so two units on this side. Well, let's bring forward the line on this edge here, and then they've got room to fire down should these get any further forward. And these four, three, two, one can fire at the horses here, the cavalry, light cavalry, uh, but to no effect. Well, at least the light cavalry are now under fire from the from the Portuguese guns. Right here, yeah, let's have a look. French, we've got probe the left flank, probe the centre, scout the centre, cavalry charge, and attack right flank. Well, I can't use cavalry charge yet because they aren't over the the stream. But we could actually, if I could probe the right flank, left flank, I could actually get those up ready to attack and maybe go in against those Portuguese guns. Uh, the infantry are most likely just going to go into square as soon as I hit them. Uh, so there's probably not much point using the cavalry to attack the infantry. We could always get some more of this stuff moving forward on the right flank to try to roll up their flank. I think at the moment that's probably the best thing to do until something else presents itself. We'll attack this right flank so we're moving forward. Now if I come up here they are out of line of sight, so that's useful. And let's bring these up ready to attack as well. Get them into a position that they may be able to assault over that hill. And the final one, let's bring forward this line here to strengthen this line as well. So there ready to attack up with those three units. You notice I'm trying to keep the French units as close together to provide support for each other at this, this point as they're attacking. And let's see what the British can do with that. <clears throat> attack left flank, scout left flank, cavalry charge, 
assault left flank, force march and bayonet charge. Right, well, first of all I don't want them to bayonet charge because I don't want them to move off their lines at the moment. Cavalry charge is going to be a bit of a waste. It will only give me a plus one with those heavy cavalry. Uh, I'm not so bothered about that. But I do kind of want to make them fear a bit on the left flank. Force march I'm going to ignore because I don't need the infantry to move just yet. So we've got attack left flank. We've also got scout and assault left flank. That is going to be a bit of a waste at the moment. So I don't want to use that up when I've got attack left flank. Uh, so I'm going to use that. And that will order three units. Uh, the line infantry will fire at the light infantry. I'm going to bring these line, line infantry over to actually attack into those light infantry. The cavalry, I'm going to hold them off just because if they attack this turn, they will go into square and then we've got all manner of problems. However, we've got the foot artillery, they're going to be firing down on the light infantry over here. So we'll do that first. Rolling two dice, two kills. So the first of the six victory tokens goes to the British. Uh, then we've got the four line infantry firing. Now they're British infantry, so they get an extra plus one when they're firing. So let's see what we can do with that. Uh, that's two kills. So that's pretty good. And then we've got the other British line infantry attacking down that hill. They don't get any bonuses or minuses for that, so it's only four dice. So that's two kills on the French light. They're causing some de deadly damage here. You could probably finish some of these off with the with the cavalry, you see, later on. Uh, they get to battle back, but they're fighting uphill, so they get minus one. Only one dice. And that's cavalry symbol, so that's nothing. So the British did pretty well there. They haven't destroyed they only destroyed one unit, but They've actually dam damaged two units very heavily. Well, let's see how if the French can recover from that. So we've got scout centre, cavalry charge, probe the centre, probe the left flank, and assault the left flank. So this is um, scout centre is a bit useless because it only sends one unit forward. Uh, really wanted something on the right hand flank, didn't we? I think what we'll do is. We'll probe the left flank and start to get these cavalry into a position that they can actually charge and do something. Uh, if I can try to get them somewhere near those guns. So the first ones actually can get up and attack the guns. One, two, three. So they will. Let's go in if we can wipe out a unit or at least the, the, the guns of the Portuguese. And we'll move the heavy cavalry up into the stream ready to cross at some point. I haven't checked actually whether that stream is crossable. Quick check, yes it is fordable. So we've got the cavalry attack going up that hill. Four dice, minus one because they're going uphill. We need uh, sabres or artillery symbols. And we get neither. Uh, so they get to fire back and they're rolling four dice back. So that's one kill on the French Light Cavalry. Uh, not a particularly great attack there. Right, back to the uh, British and the Portuguese. Scout left flank, assault left flank, force march, cavalry charge, bayonet charge and probe left flank. Uh, well, we could open up on the on the left flank and uh, knock out a couple of those French units, but potentially that might be worthwhile doing. I think. But which one to use? Hmm, it's a tough one to choose. I think let's go with assault the left flank because we're never going to get any more units in the left flank than there are already. Uh, so. These will fire down here, but the heavy cavalry will also charge at them. They will then go into square, because that's what they do. So we take one French card, 
and then replace it with a square marker. Uh, we've got the British guns firing first of all, they're going to fire at them. So they're rolling five dice because they haven't moved, they're line infantry. So that's one kill. Uh, they get two retreats as well. So that will force them back. They don't they don't move because they're in square. So they actually lose another unit because they can't retreat. So that's another unit off for the Brits straight away. For the French, should I say, but another banner for the Brits. I think that's right. Yeah, they because they're in square, they can't move, so they can't actually attack back. So we've got the line infantry attacking into the light infantry, charging downhill. And that's two kills. And they can follow up if they want, but they're going to stay on that hill. So that's another victory banner straight away for Britain. They're on three straight away. Uh, this is probably going as good as the historical battle so far. Because the French were, were repelled heavily by the British and Portuguese gunfire. So the French cavalry charge, probe centre, probe centre, assault left flank, scout centre. Well, it's a bit of a toughie. Um, it might be cavalry charge really, just to, to take out those guns if we can. I think that's probably the best thing we can do really. There's not a great deal else they can do. Uh, I mean they could push forward with a sensor. I could hang on to those and use them later. Because there's two probe sensors. Let's go with cavalry charge, get it out of the way, see if we can take out those Portuguese guns. So they're going to use their cavalry charge, one, two, these are going to come up here, the heavy cav, they will hit the guns first, and then if they don't get a, a, an attack, they will attack the Portuguese there, and see what happens with them. So we've got heavy cavalry, they're on the top of the hill, they get another bonus dice for the cavalry charge, so rolling six dice. So that's one, two kills. We've got two uh, flags, so that means they retreat two. So they lose two and they retreat two, but we can ignore one because they they are uh, supported by those guys. The French cavalry will, will follow up and then also will do their second attack. And they will attack the guns once more. So same again. Six dice. And that's two kills. So that's enough to get them the French first victory banner. Well done France. Um, the light cavalry will attack the Portuguese. The Brits will then take one of their cards at random. Place it below their square card. And they are in square, so they roll the dice. If they roll a flag, then the uh, French cavalry bounce off. No, the French cavalry only attack with one dice against a square, uh, but that is a kill. So that's taken out one unit at least. So they at least forced one unit into square. The good thing with cavalry is you. Uh, you know, if you can get as many people into square as possible, it stops them doing anything in their turn. It really reduces their their amount of of, uh, of of options when it comes to tactics. Right, let's have a look at the British. We've got force march, cavalry charge, bayonet charge, scout left flank, and probe left flank. Well, there's not a great deal over there, really. Uh, the cavalry wouldn't even reach the French. So let's have a look. Can we? What can we do on the right flank? Probably not a great deal, really. Uh, this, this is a bit of a tough one, really, as to to what we can do. I guess if we play something like scout the left flank and just get that artillery to fire, it gets that rubbish card out of hand anyway, and the artillery can fire four, three, two, one at them. Rolling one dice. Oh, 
there you go, it's a kill, that's the best thing they could have done. So they take two cards, randomise them, take one, and the other one goes over there, and that was scout the right flank. Back with my centre, so we've got probe the centre, scout the centre, assault the left flank, probe the centre, and bombard. Well, bombard is practically useless because it's for artillery. They can, well, they could move up to three hexes, so we could actually bring them forward, but I don't think that's going to get us a great deal at the moment. Uh, we could assault the left flank, so we could actually attack against that square and try to whittle it down, or at least go against a couple of the other units and force them into square as well. I think that might be a good one at the moment. Uh, just to try to destroy the, the Portuguese on the left. I think that's, yeah, well, let's, let's go with that. We'll run amok with the, with the cavalry, I think. So the lights will stay where they are. They will attack that square there. These will attack these guys. I'll move these up. So they're moving around. The Portuguese militia will also go into square. So again, let's just shuffle them up. Shuffle up the cards. Take that one. And so they're now in square as well. <coughs> so the squares get to roll first. If it's a flag, they bounce off. So that's against the light cav. No, so they get to take one hit. But they fight back with just one dice. That they cause one hit as well. I forgot to do the leader didn't I? Uh, I'll just roll for him for last turn. Mm, he's okay and I'll roll for him this turn as a casualty. He's okay. Uh, so the militia militia ignore sabres in close combat so that's nothing but the uh, heavy cavalry uh, do nothing as well. So odds and evens really. Let's see what cards the British are holding then. So they've got the Grand Manoeuvre, uh, Probe Left Flank, Bayonet Charge and Force March. As we said before, this is not a particularly good set of cards really. Uh, let's go with probe, probe the Left Flank, I think. And we'll move the Heavy Cavalry down. Bring them down here, but we'll put them down behind this woodland here. Hide them there. We've got the foot artillery, that will fire. That leaves again. One dice. That's another kill. So again, pecking away at them really. French need to get moving forward, otherwise they're just going to get taken out. And speaking of the French, let's see what they can do. Probe the centre, scout the centre, probe the centre. Bombard and Cavalry Charge. Cavalry Charge is going to be useless against uh, the against the squares because you don't get you only roll one dice maximum anyway. So it looks like we're going to probe that sensor. So we'll play this one. We've got the line infantry. We'll get them into the town so they're protected from any artillery fire at least. And. They're a bit weak at this point, the uh, the light infantry, so I'm going to bring these up. I was thinking about maybe shoving them two hexes forward, but they'll just get blasted as soon as they get to the top of that hill. I need to get them up as a bunch, really, rather than anything else. So that's as much as the French can do. And back to the British. The Grand Manoeuvre. Uh, bayonet Charge. Force March. And Assault Centre. And annoyingly, everybody is out of range. Oh, no, actually, Assault Centre is probably going to be the best. So we have the order the number of cards in your hand. So there's only four, actually, uh, for anybody to move. So we can order them. We can bring the light forward to, to fire down. We can fire with them at the French cavalry, at least. We could bring these forward, so let's see what's... Do some manoeuvring. So we've got one. Bring them forward and they can fire down onto the French line down here. So that's one, two, 
at three and then I can move one more unit. Let's bring these light forward as well. They can they can fire at the French at the front and try to wipe out some of their their units here as well. So then I gain a couple more um, victory banners. So we've got the line infantry over here. They're just rolling dice, just their normal dice, so four. And that's one retreat. The cavalry are not supported, so they'll just drop back to there. No, they'll drop back to there, and then that's, they're out of line of sight of those. We've got the line infantry here. They're firing, but they're firing at half, so they're rolling two dice. And they're firing down on the line light infantry, so that's one kill. We've got the British light infantry. Normally they're firing five dice, but we half it and round up. So that becomes three, because they moved. So they're firing at the light infantry as well. That's a retreat. They can ignore it because they're supported. And then we've got the final one is the artillery. They're going to fire down on them as well, rolling one dice. So hopefully this will kill them. And it does. Excellent. So uh, that's four victory banners now for the British. Only two more, and then they will win the game. The French have still only got one. Well, let's see if the French can sort something out here. Scout centre, cavalry charge, bombard, probe centre and attack centre. Right, well, let's just go straight for it. Attack the centre and get some of these units up. Firing now that the British have shown themselves, they will fire up at them. These guys will move forward and fire. They may be only rolling one dice, but at least they're doing something. These will move into the woods and fire protection of the woods and that's really it so we've got these guys these are firing on four dice minus one because they're firing uphill firing at the British lights in front of them uh, so that's one kill and a retreat but they can ignore the retreat because they've they're supported uh, the line that moved forward they're firing uphill so they're only rolling one dice because they half and then minus one so that's another kill so there we go. That's whittling them down at least. These ones moved. They're uh, firing again at half minus one because they're firing uphill. So only one dice. And that's an artillery. So that does nothing for them. So that's the British, uh, the French turn. And let's see what the Brits and the Portuguese do. So force march, grand manoeuvre, bayonet charge and scout right flank. Right. Well, scouts in the right flank is probably out at the moment unless they were to get one of their units to fire at the French infant, uh, cavalry. I don't really know what that would what would be the point of that though. Uh, there's not a great deal they can do with these. I think scout the right flank is probably the best one at this point because all these ones are, are hard cards and waiting for the French to get up a bit closer before they attack with them. So Well, let's have a look. Let me just have a think about this. Bayonet charge. Well, they could attack the French. They could come down from their lines and, and try and wipe out at least two units. And that would be four uh, charging in. Who would at least hit two units with four of those. I think that is probably the best one at this point. So maybe that's so it's four units, four infantry units. We've got this line will go one two. They will attack into the French line there. The lights will also help them one, and they will attack there. Portuguese line. This is like now, Maitland. Your time is now. Pile down that hill into them. Unfortunately, they don't, they don't get any extras on this, unless they were guard infantry one two, but none of these are. I mean, it takes them off the safety of the hill, but they can always go back up onto it. I've got enough uh, cards to, to manoeuvre people about, so they can just get back up there next turn anyway. So we'll do this. I think this is probably the best thing we can do. So, <clears throat> the British line infantry, they're just rolling four dice. And that's one retreat. Nothing happened. <laughs> French line gets to attack back. This could be disastrous. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, OK, so the French have got themselves a victory banner. <laughs> but they do trip over themselves. Uh, we've got the light infantry there attacking again. We just uh, no three noble dice. So that's one hit and a retreat. Retreat ignored. French will fight back with four because they get to attack with uh, a plus one dice in melee. And they have wiped them out as well. Oh god, this is going bad. <laughs> uh, so now the French are on three victory banners against the British four. Let's just hope the Portuguese can do better, eh? Uh, so we've got the line infantry. They're attacking into woods. Uh, so infantry attacking into woods is... Unfortunately, I think it's a minus two. No, no, it's only a minus one. Just a... Uh, yes, just a minus one. So... Uh, Three dice for the first ones, so that's three kills. Well done then, the Portuguese are standing up at least. Uh, the French get to battle back, they're uh, rolling two dice. They kill two of the Portuguese. And next up, same again, uh, three dice. Fingers crossed, they'll at least get one victory banner this turn. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's a kill and a retreat. They don't retreat, so that's just killed them. They can follow up, so we're going to get straight into that cover. Because I think the French are going to unleash an almighty attack on them. Uh, but that means the, the British now have got another victory banner. Uh, they were hoping for two, but they got one, and they lost two units. So, brilliant. Fantastic. Great work there. Well done, everybody. Right, well, this turn, this is the French's turn. They really have to destroy as many units as possible because the battle could hinge on this turn perhaps I think. So probe centre, cavalry charge, bombard, scout centre and attack centre. Well they'd be daft to do anything else so I think it's going to have to be the attack centre. So we're going to go in against we need to kill three units if we can. I don't know if they can do it. They can certainly try so they'll move these forward and at least fire at those guns up there. So they're now in range. They will attack here and attack here. I think that's pretty much the best they can do at the moment because they can't get any further forward to attack the, the weakened Portuguese at the back. So we'll start with the firing. Four dice. Halves to two, goes down to one. Uh, it's killed one of the cannons at least. So that was a reasonable shot. And now the attack into the woods. We've got the line infantry. They get a plus one but minus one because they're attacking into the woods. So we'll roll for them first of all. So I roll I went off the table. So that's three of them killed. So that means their leader may be killed. Two sabres and he is. No. They battle back. The only battle bag with one dice, but it does kill one French. And we've got the other line infantry, they're going in with three uh, dice. So that's, yeah, that's two kills and a retreat. Uh, we roll for the leader. Uh, that's a flag, that doesn't count, he needed a sabre to kill him. So he retreats, so he's going to retreat back to there. The line infantry will move into the forest and take it. And that gives them another victory banner. So they're now on four. So they still need two more. But they're getting closer. Okay, let's see what we do with the Brits. We've got the Grand Manoeuvre. Uh, issue an order to four units to move. Uh, force March. Infantry units uh, to move. Uh, can they in one section? Ooh, that's, that's pretty poor. There's not a great deal of them. Uh, they can move on fire. Oh, we've got scout right flank and the other card forward. It can't be anything else but forward, to be honest. Uh, so we've got to try to finish off at least one French unit, I think, at this point. So we've got... Sorry for kicking the camera. We go... We'll bring these out. The guns will fire down. So this is one unit in this area, this section. We've got the other unit over here. Let's charge 
the light, the French light there, will go into square. So shuffle a card, take it out, put them in square just to threaten them. So that's the two units in that section. We're going to have the guns firing down here. And I'm not entirely sure what else to do over here now. Hmm, it's a bit tricky. Well, let's go and attack the French light cavalry, see if we can get, get any kills off them. Attacking into that wood is probably going to be pretty dangerous, so what I might do is pull them back up onto the hill and they will fire at the wood. Uh, mind you, they won't be able to, but I'll put them on the hill so they're at least safe. Yeah, I think that's, that's about the best I can do, I think. Alright, so, we've got the square. They only roll one dice. Anyway, no matter what, so they're going to fire at the French Light Cavalry. Uh, that's a sabre, so that is a kill. And then we've got these guys, the French, are going to retire, retreat and retire. So uh, the they only kill on a horse symbol. But they've done it. So that is a British victory, no matter what else happens. But let's play it out. Uh, we've got the uh, cavalry attack against the square, so the square rolls one dice, nothing. The cavalry attack rolls one dice, nothing. That's it. Artillery. We've got the two, uh, the line infantry rolling two dice, firing at the line infantry in front of them. So that's nothing. And then we've got the artillery firing three dice at the line infantry. Uh, that's two kills. Almost the best they could do. But that's it. The British have won uh, the Battle of Busaco. Uh, that was very close. I did actually think right there that the the French, after this disastrous attack here in the centre, I thought the French might be able to pull that back. Four to six. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I played the square correctly over there, but it played as it played. And uh, again, that was another, another good game, another gripping one. Uh, that one kind of followed, followed the historical um, situation where the French were battered by the British and Portuguese fire. So, thanks for watching that one. There's going to be more of these coming. There's still only halfway through the scenario, so there's tons of these to uh, to watch in the future. Uh, and watch the ones that I've done before as well. And if you've liked it, if you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe, tell your friends, share it about on social media. And thanks for watching.